Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at uh, how you can apply Bitcoin into your web application, uh, why would you like uh, to use Bitcoin in your web application, and the easiest way to start doing that. Uh, so the library we're going to be looking at is Bitcoin.js. Uh, it's a very simple in use and common library uh, for people using Bitcoin in JS. Uh, it allows you to put Bitcoin into your application, such as generate addresses for receiving Bitcoins or generate Bitcoins transaction for people to receive payments. Uh, it's quite easy to use, so a lot of leading companies rely on it. It's uh, very well supported and maintained by others. Uh, before we jump into how uh, to apply Bitcoins in your application, I think it's very important to understand why you would like to do it and uh, what Bitcoin actually is. Uh, and Bitcoin is internet form of money. It's a way to transfer information over about the money over anybody under the internet. It's just like protocol for providing web page or protocols um, for sending emails and that uh, kind of information. Uh, with Bitcoin, you don't really need to register or to sign up uh, or provide information for any bank or PayPal, um, which require you to go into entire process to get set up. It allows you to send payment uh, to anybody uh, with internet connection and address to receive Bitcoins in about 10 minutes. Uh, it's a way you can transfer uh, information about money in secure, fast and easy way. Uh, so what is happening when you're making Bitcoin transaction uh, is you're updating a shared database uh, of all Bitcoin transactions ever happened. For example, uh, what happening or when you're trying to send 10 Bitcoins to your friend Bob in Asia uh, is that you're sending transaction into the network of about 8,000 uh, computers which keep full history of all Bitcoin transactions. Uh, and your transaction is added to that list uh, of uh, transactions maintained by entire global network. Uh, it's very useful for everybody because global network is uh, maintained independently from any large companies. Uh, basically, anybody who wants uh, to start running high quality service which support bitcoins uh, can pull down uh, the entire uh, record of all transactions and stay updated uh, with recent uh, transactions um, uh, about who owns bitcoins. This means uh, then somebody is trying to send them bitcoins, they can verify that this person is actually own bitcoins um, um, according to their all past transaction history. Uh, so, um, the way your transaction are added into Bitcoin network is transaction are bundling in something called blocks. And these blocks are individually input into the network. So if I want to send 10 Bitcoins uh, to my friend Bob, uh, what I'm actually doing, I'm contributing uh, that transaction into a block uh, and then uh, that block is being validated by the network in terms do I really um, have these 10 bitcoins which I'm trying to send. Uh, if so, um, my transaction will and, and my transaction will sign correctly, my transaction will accept it into the next uh, block of bitcoin uh, network and now uh, my friend Bob owns 10 bitcoins which I previously owned and now he can um, uh, send these bitcoins to uh, whoever he would like. Uh, the blocks, uh, these blocks full of transactions are built on top of each other and really connected with each other. Um, and um, that uh, um, each of these uh, transactions make it so, so the current record of ownership is always is as secure as all previous records. Uh, the current block reference on the previous blocks uh, and uh, we have something called blockchain. Uh, the blockchain mechanism is really to share a database uh, that share ownership of bitcoins and it's where a lot of security in bitcoin is coming from. Uh, basically you need to modify all previous transactions in order to change current one and it makes it extremely difficult because 8,000 people uh, who have full copy of all transactions won't let you do that. 
um, if you go to one of them, you can trick one of them. Uh, but then he will uh, reconnect to the network and another uh, 7,999 people uh, will not accept his history and will give him right uh, history of Ryan ownership of bitcoins. Uh, and also, uh, it's very secure because uh, so many people have a copy of uh, uh, ownership of bitcoins. Uh, so, um, now if we start to look in how we can get start uh, to use bitcoins, the first step is uh, to generate address. And uh, address at which you can receive bitcoins or your user can receive bitcoins. Uh, when we are generated address, uh, what we are actually doing is we are making um, a private key, public key pair. Public key is actually an actual address to which Bitcoin transaction will be sent. And uh, a private uh, key is uh, what you are signing with when you are sending transaction. Uh, so if uh, your transaction, uh, if, if your address uh, hold 10 Bitcoins and you would like to send it, uh, uh, these 10 Bitcoins to somewhere else, uh, you will use your private key to sign your transaction and you will send it to the network. And uh, if your address really hold these 10 Bitcoins and your uh, uh, transaction was signed correctly uh, by private key of the public address, um, that uh, means that uh, this transaction will be accepted by the network. Uh, Bitcoin JS uh, make it very easy uh, for you to generate addresses. Um, you can generate as many addresses uh, as you want because the number down there it's the uh, number of uh, all um, the addresses that can ever exist in bitcoins. It's very large number, it it's really will never run out. So you can generate as many addresses uh, as you find useful. They're completely free and you can give each of your user a uh, public um, address, uh, a unique payment address, uh, uh, very quickly and uh, very in very easy way. Uh, so, uh, how it looks like to a user is that they have a window that represents their address. So, uh, is the ad uh, so, this is address uh, they can put uh, money into your service and uh, another address um, with uh, that address they can give, um, uh, they can send it for another people, uh, they can send uh, their money within your service. Uh, once a user has an address, uh, they can display it on, on their account or they can give it to, to another people. And the next step, once uh, the address is received in coming bitcoins, is to generate transaction that will send these bitcoins somewhere else. Uh, so if the user wants to take bitcoins uh, they receive and to set it to another uh, bitcoin address, or to turn their Bitcoin into the dollars, they will go to your service and hit the button and will uh, say, uh, okay, uh, I would like um, uh, to take a Bitcoins which belongs to my private address and I want to send it to another public address. And Bitcoin JS allows you to format uh, transactions by defining uh, who is paid, by defining whom it's been paid to. And it allows you to take a private key of that public address uh, which you generate for uh, that user and sign that transaction. Uh, so uh, when it's broadcast to the network, it will become accepted by the network. Um, so um, uh, what Bitcoin JS uh, really allows you to do is in a very simple way to take and to make payments uh, all around the world. I think it's very interesting because um, it allows you to have payment functionality in your application uh, without uh, having to register or without having to give uh, API access to payment system. Uh, it's a way for you to build application uh, that can um, take payments for anyone in the world uh, in the 10 minutes in very secure and very easy way. So thank you for your attention.